Okay, now we're going to move on to part three of the test, where we're going to talk about a topic from part two. Okay, we're going to consider how people's lives have changed, especially when we talk about like status and value. So, what kinds of things give status to people in your country? Uh, it's mostly, I think, it's mostly about uh, power, because power can get you money. And on money in Russia, at least, in, we believe that you can buy anything on money, like health, friends, wife. <laughs> really? Okay, you can buy a wife with money. Okay, wow. And let's talk about how things have changed in terms of in terms of status, in terms of value. Have things changed since your parents' time? Uh, well, it's changed very much because, uh, as you know, before we had Soviet Union. Communists, <laughs> All right. and so uh, money wasn't main part in human life because government uh, gave apartment to people for free, the healthcare was free, education was free, and everyone could uh, get a job at least, like um, build something or cleaning something. But everyone could get a job. Uh, but when Soviet Union was ended and everything was changed very fast and very harshly in Russia. Right, so did you experience any of that time, like growing up and during communism? Uh, yeah, I was very small child when it was communism and also uh, because I was small, I didn't remember like buying stuff and uh, you might know that in Russia in this time there was a uh, very big problem with uh, groceries. Mm -hmm. You can go to the shop and there was just like cans and no fruits or vegetables. Wow. I don't remember thing uh, like this, but I remember when everything starts changing because like everyone starts speaking up loudly about their thinking, about their view on the situation. Okay, so it must have been kind of scary to walk in the supermarket and only see cans of food, right? It's, yeah, it's very depressing, actually. Wow, okay, I couldn't imagine that time. Okay, now let's talk about a role of advertising, especially with things like status, you know, smartphones, things that are being advertised a lot. Do you think advertising influences what people buy? Of course, yeah. I think especially in these days, because we have, uh, like, uh, Target, uh, marketing in internet connection and when I know that everything around me kind of listen me my smartphone as well so I know that if I would speak about oh I think I need to buy a new car for example uh, I think my smartphone would recommend me like buy this car buy this car and of course it influenced me a lot and I think it influenced most of people Okay, can you tell me about last time you bought something from a recommendation from your phone? Ah, uh, it's actually a hard question because I'm <laughs> not buying that much stuff recently. But for example, uh, here in Korea, the G market is very popular for buying stuff online. And when I go in G market, for example, I need to buy uh, food for my cat, pet food. And I know what exactly I need to buy, but when I go to the site, the main page is like, oh, we have this sale, we have this sale. And I end up spending so much money on stuff I don't need really. What other ways are you influenced by advertising? Um, honestly, I don't think it's that much a problem here in Seoul, especially for me because I don't speak Korean well. And in advertisement, I don't understand much. Uh, but in Russia, my experience was uh, there's a very lot of uh, advertisement around you. And when you go in subway, you hear advertisement, you see an adver adverti advertisement, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, of course, you always around it by you need to buy this, this stuff or this uh, thing. And it's really every time around you. Okay, wow. Thank you so much for answering all my questions. This is the end of your IELTS speaking test. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much. Okay, nice Goodbye. meeting you. Bye.